Hello guys, I hope you're all fine. Before going into the topic, I would like to do a small prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. So let's close your eyes. Heavenly Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as you forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. For thine is kingdom, power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hello guys, I hope you are all fine. Today we are here to discuss about Big Game Method. Uh, like in the Big Game Method, if the constants have less than or equal symbol, we will add slack variables. If the constants have greater than or equal symbol, we will subtract surplus variables and we will add uh, artificial variables as plus a and minus s. Respectively, whereas minimize uh, the problem, let's discuss the problem. Minimize f equals to 7x1 plus 15x2 plus 20x3. It is subject to the constants, these two constants, like uh, constants are like uh, 2x1 plus 4x2 plus 6x3 greater than or equal to 24. Whereas uh, here 3x1 plus 9x2 plus 6x3 greater than or equal to 30. If observe here, minimize these two constants. For these two constants, we have subtracted uh, slack variables and added uh, artificial variables like s1 minus s1 plus a1 minus s2 plus a2. In the same way, we will write our objective function as uh, like this 0s1 plus 0s2 plus m1 a1 plus m2. We will add those all things. Here, m is the maximum positive value. If observe here, we will first draw the initial table. In the initial table, we will, we will write like a CJ, here CJ are coefficients of object function, whereas in the middle, they are all the, co, are the coefficients of constraints, whereas here, we will write A1 and A2, here in A1 and A2, the coefficients are M and M, so we will write like that, so after writing, now, in order to find the judge value, I already told you in the simplex method. In order to find the judge value, we will write like m into 2 plus m into 3. Then we will get 5m. If observe here, this is judge value, we will write like m into 0 plus m into 1. It will be m. In this way, we will find all the judge values. By finding all the judge values, we will find cj minus judge. These are all cj values. These are almost judge values. We will do subtraction for these two values. Then we will get uh, these are all values here. The 7 minus 5 m, 15 minus 13 m, 20 minus 12 m. These are all most negative values because m is the most positive value, na, maximum positive value. So it will be as there is a negative symbol, as there is minus symbol, they are most negative values. So in order to get out multi, we should get like c uh, minus judge should be greater than or equal to 0. So ha as we have these negative values. So, out multi, we did not reach the out multi. So, we will do iteration 1. In order to do iteration 1, we will draw this kind of table. After drawing, if observe here, we should find the, we should, like, uh, if you observe here, here in the judge values, 13 m is the more biggest one. 13 m is the largest one. As m is the maximum positive value, na, 13 m is the largest one. So we will draw like this, we will draw key column. So here if you observe here, after drawing key column, here the solution divided by key column, like 24 by 4, which is the ratio, we will get the ratio as 6. Here 30 by key column, like 9, we will get 30 by 9 which is equal to 10 by 3. So in this way we will find ratio values, in this in these two ratio values the, less, less, the smallest element is 10 by 3. So we will draw the key row, key row. By this we get the key element as nine. So after this we will we will draw. After this we all know, we already know that x2 is the entering element here, whereas a2 is the leaving element. Whereas a2 is the leaving element. So after drawing the new values of a1 and a, these these two values should be found. Now let's first take x2 value. If you observe here x2 is there now. X2 is the entering element now x2 is the entering element so in order to find these x2 x2 new values we will write like uh, old element old element divided by key element 3 by 9 which is equal to 1 by 3 the first value is 1 by 3 whereas uh, the second one is 9 by 9 if observe here in order to find the new elements of x2 in order to find the new elements in x2 we will write like 9 by 9 if observe here old element divided by key element 9 by 9 which is 1 so in order to find next one 6 by 3 6 by 9 sorry guys 6 by 9 whole element divided by key element here whole element is 6 key element is 9 6 by 9 which is 2 by 3 
where the next one is 0. 0 is the old element, old element divided by key element, 0 by 9, which is equal to 0. In this way, we will find all these values, all these new new values of x2. In order to find the a1 new values, we will use the formula old value minus key column value into key row value divided by key value. So, by using that formula, we will find uh, here the old value is 2, 2 minus key column into key row, 4 into 3, key column corresponding, corresponding key column into corresponding key row, like 4 into 3 divided by 9, key element is 9. So, by that we will get like 2 by 3, here we got 2 by 3, the first element is 2 by 3 in, yeah, sorry guys, here the first element is 2 by 3. So in this way we will find all these elements. By using this formula we will find all these elements. Up to this solution all these elements will be found like that. Then by finding like that we will find judge value. As I already told you judge value is already told you in the previous table. In the same way we will find judge values. After that we will find CJ values. CJ minus judge values. Like CJ elements of this one. Judge elements of this one. We will do subtraction then we will get CJ values. If observe here, if observe here, minus 10 by 3 into m plus 10, these are all, these are all are negative elements. But here we should get uh, like cj minus judge should be greater than or equal to 0. But here we got some negative ele elements. So we still did not reach optimality. So we should, we will do uh, iteration, the next iteration. So in order to do the next iteration, we will draw this kind of box. But before that, we will, we will, we should find like 10 by 3 m plus 10 is there now like here sorry guys here minus 10 by 3 m plus 10 this is the most negative value like this is the smallest value so whereas here if observe here 16 by 5 16 by 5 is the most positive value this is the most negative value and this is the most positive value no 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 this is the least positive value this is the most negative value so in this way we will find uh, the key column and key row key column and key row we will find then after finding the key column and key row we will get key element also so here x3 is the entering element whereas a1 is the leaving variable leaving variable entering variable so in this way we will write in the place of a1 we will write x3 x3 we wrote and x2 will be like that only so in order to find um, the x3 new values we will we will write like old element divided by key element formula we will use here like 2 by 3 divided by 10 by 3 this is the key element no? 2 by 3 divided by 10 by 3 which, which is 1 by 5 we got we got in this in this table we got 1 by 5 as first element like uh, whereas the next one is old element is 0 divided by 10 by 3 we will get 0 only in this way we will find all these elements of uh, new elements of x3 whereas uh, in order to find uh, the new the new elements of uh, x2 values the new elements of x2 values in order to find the new element of x2 values we use the formula new value of x2 equals to old value minus key column value minus key column value into key row value divided by key value so by using this formula like old value if you observe here in the place of uh, x2 if you observe here 1 by 3 is the old value now nah? yeah one minute guys if you observe here 1 by 3 is the old value whereas the corresponding uh, key column the corresponding key values are 2 by 3 and 2 by 3 whereas the key element is 10 by 3 here by substituting these are all these are values in this formula like old value is equal to key column value minus key, key column value into key row value divided by key value we will get these are all things these are all x3 values we will get like that no sorry sorry these are all x2 values yeah, these are all x2 values, we will get like this, by using this formula. By using this kind of formula, we will get, uh, these are all x2 values. Then, we will get 16 by 5 is the solution, in the same way only, by using that formula only. Here, this solution is got like, old element divided by key element is there, na. by using that formula, we, uh, we have got uh, these, these are all things. So, if you observe here, judge, I wrote judge here, judge already told you in the previous only, by finding judge value, we will find uh, we have cj value we have judge values so cj minus judge we will find here so if you observe here i got like 0 0 0 3 1 by 3 whereas here a1 and a2 are all 
left so we we don't have to write anything so i have put this minus kind of symbols here so cj minus jj the here cj minus jj are all greater than or equal to 0 so we have reached out multi so x1 x2 and x3 if observe here x3 value is 20 if observe here x3 value is 20 x2 value is 15 x2 value is 15 but here x1 value is 0 x1 value is 0 guys here this is x2 i wrote spelling mistake x2 value is 6 by 5 16 by 5 sorry sorry i told you wrong here x3 value is 16 by 5 x2 value is 6 by 5 in this way we should write so here x1 value is 0 whereas after value is like if you put these are all object functions these are all in the object functions then we will get 82 yeah in this way we will find we will do the big method this is all about the process of big method i hope you understand guys thank you